Hey everyone, Sister Michelle here from SisterDIY.com and today I am making crispy fried cauliflower. Definitely one of my favorite ways to eat it, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is break the cauliflower down. I like to half it and then quarter it and then just cut the centers out. This is the easiest way to do it. Uh, and I also like to keep two bowls on hand, one for the scraps and one for the pieces that I'm going to fry. Now I'm not going to fry the entire head of cauliflower, I'm just going to do half, but the pieces that I don't use, I'll just store them in the fridge for a recipe later in the week. I also like to use a knife to get my pieces that I'm going to fry, but you can definitely break it if you like. I like to use a knife because I have more control over what the finished piece is going to look like. So I'm just going to trim it until I am happy with the pieces. And I like to use a piece that has a really nice stem and a pretty large floret. But again, totally up to you. Everything that I'm going to fry, I'm going to put in a colander and then I'm going to wash it. Now after washing the cauliflower really good, I'm also going to dry it really well. Uh, I like to put it in a towel, just kind of shake the water out and just let it hang out in the towel while I get the dry ingredients ready. So in a Ziploc bag, I'm just going to dump in the flour, cayenne, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, whatever I'm using. You can pretty much use whatever spices you have. This is just what I like to use on, on mine. Next, I'm going to take all of my cauliflower florets and put them in the bag of seasoned flour. I'm going to give it a good shake until everything is evenly coated. Now, to get rid of some of the excess flour, I'm going to transfer everything from the bag to a sheet pan that's been lined with paper towel. This is also going to make frying it a lot easier. Next, I'm going to crack two eggs into a bowl with a tablespoon of Dijon and I'm just going to whisk that until everything is evenly incorporated. Lastly, we are going to take our seasoned floured cauliflower and put it in our egg mixture. Give that a toss, uh, shake it around a little bit, however you can coat it. You can also use a spoon or fork. And then we're going to dump it back into our bag of seasoned flour. Give that a good shake and then move on to the second batch. Notice that I'm not removing any cauliflower in between batches. As long as the first batch is coated very well, you won't have to worry about the next batch sticking. So just coat it really well and then add the second batch to that same bag. And we are done. We have all of our cauliflower coated, ready to fry. First, I'm going to transfer everything to a sheet pan that's been lined with paper towel. This is just going to make frying it a lot easier and it's also going to remove any excess flour. Now I'm going to start my oil at about a medium high heat. I'm using coconut oil and I'm only using about an inch or two. This is a really shallow fry and I'm just going to drop all of the florets into the oil and let them go for a good three to five minutes until they are golden brown. They're going to go for a good three to five minutes per side, depending on how brown or how crispy you like them. I like to stay at the golden stage. Um, and then I'm going to get my plate ready, lined with paper towel to take them out and let some of the excess oil come off. Mm -hmm. 
these came out so good. They are pretty perfect. The color, this is exactly what I was going for. Uh, they're so crispy. They're definitely a family favorite. You can eat these as a snack on its own with a dip. You can also eat these as a side. I like to put them in a leafy salad. There are endless ways to enjoy this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for more recipes you can visit sisterdiy.com and I'll see you at the next video.